Hello students, I am Janita, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Amat University, Chennai. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic Integral Calculus. Now, we see the history of integration. The Archimedes is the founder of surface areas and volumes of solids such as the sphere and the cone. His integration method was very modern. Since he did not have algebra or the decimal representation of numbers. Gauss was the first to make graph of integrals and with others continue to apply integral in the mathematical and physical science. Leibniz and Newton discovered calculus and found that differentiation and integration and to each other. Next we see that how integration applies to the real world. Integration was used to design the Petronas tower making it stronger. Many differential equations were used in the designing of Sydney Opera House. Finding the value, uh, volume of wine cask was one of the first uses of integration. The next, finding areas under curved surfaces, center of mass, displacement and velocity and fluid flow are other uses of integration. Next we see the techniques of integration. Due to the fundamental theorem of calculus, we can integrate a function if we know on antiderivative that is on indefinite integral. We summarize the most important integral we have learned so far as follows. Next, we see that how many types of integration. One is the process of evaluating on indefinite integral or definite integral. The indefinite integral, integral of f of x dx is defined as a function g such that its derivative d of g of x equal to f of x. Next, the definite integral which is nothing but is a number whose value depends on the function f and the numbers a and b and it is defined as the limit of a Riemann sum. Indefinite integral involves on arbitrary constant for instance x square dx equal to x cube plus c the arbitrary constant c is called a constant of integration next we see why you are using including the include c for the problem the derivative of a constant is zero however when you integrate you should consider that there is a possible constant involved but we don't know what is it is for a particular problem. Therefore, you can just use C to represent the value. To solve for C, you will be given a problem that gives you the y naught of 0 value. Then you can plug the 0 in 4x and the y of 0 value for y. We see the some number of basic integral formula. Integral of x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 already we know that uh, already we will studied about the school school life uh, we know some number of uh, integral formulas that is in this chapter we develop the technique for using the basic integration formulas this helps obtain indefinite integral of more complicated function the most important method of integration or first one is the trigonometric substitution, the second one is integration by parts formula, the third one is the Bernoulli's formula. This three method is one of the important, most important of integration. Then we learn method that are special to particular classes of functions such as trigonometric function or 
rational functions. Integra integration is not as a straightforward as differentiation. There are no rules that absolutely guarantee obtaining on indefinite integral of a function. Now, we discuss how to use integration by parts. First of all, before we will clear, we will clear, we will clear the in trigonometric substitution, how to apply the trigonometric substitution, how to apply integration by parts, how to apply the Bernoulli's. The trigonometric substitution method only that any all the functions will appear separately, we can use the trigonometric substitution. Then we have to use the integration by parts formula, Bernoulli's formula. Product of two different function will appear, that time we can use integration by parts formula or Bernoulli's formula. What is the both formula? What is the difference between that both formula? Product of two combination, product of two functions will appear. The one function comes to simpler than differentiate. That type of the combination only we can use Bernoulli's. Otherwise, for example, both combination, product of two functions are not simpler when differentiate. That type of the combination, combination will appear the problem. We can use only for integration by parts formula. So, now we see how to apply the integration by parts formula in the problem. Every integration rule has a corresponding integration rule. For instance, the substitution rule for integration corresponds to the chain rule for differentiation. Integration by parts formula it is nothing but it is will come to the product rule. The rule that corresponds to the product rule for differentiation is called the rule of integration by parts. The product rule states that if n and f and g are differentiable function, then d by dx of f of x into g of x it is equal to f of x g dash of x plus g of x into f dash of x. In the notation for indefinite integral, this equation becomes integral f of x d, g dash of x plus g of x f dash of x of d of x equal to f of x into g of x or integral over f of x into g dash of x dx plus integral over g of x f dash of x d of x equal to f of x g of x. We can rearrange this equation as integral of integral over f of x into g, g dash of x into dx equal to f of x g of x minus integral over g of x f dash of x dx. Formula 1 is called the formula for integration by parts. It is perhaps easier to remember in the following notation. Let u equal to f of x and v equal to g of x. Then the differentia differentials are du equal to f dash of x d of x and dv equal to g dash of x dx. Thus by substitution rule the formula for integration by parts become integral u dv equal to u v minus integral v du. The next we see the problem how to apply the integration by parts. The problem is integral of x sin x dx. Now we see the problem integral of x sin x. Integral of x sin x dx. See this problem product of two functions will appear. Already I said product of two different function will appear. How to solve using the trigonometry substitution formula or Bernoulli's formula. Okay. So, here already we know that so many functions uh, we know uh, algebraic functions, trigonometric functions, um, inverse function, exponential function, logarithmic function. The combination of that two functions will appear. You can use integration by parts formula. Here, x sin x, product of algebraic that 
trigonometric combination will appear in this problem. So, already we know the formula. The integration by parts formula is integral of u dv equal to u v minus integral v du. It is a formula of integration by parts. It is a formula integration integration by parts. The formula purpose we want u v u dv. So, how to select u dv like in this combination? In this place we have to use highlight method. So, first I will explain what is mean by highlight. It is nothing but just you write highlight. The first letter I denoted to all inverse function. The second letter L is denoted to all logarithmic functions. The third letter A denoted to the algebraic functions. T denoted to trigonometric function. E is denoted to exponential function. First, you take and write what is your question. X and sin x. X is called algebraic function. You take and write top of this eyelid. So, where you place for in this x, x is called algebraic. So, you have to place top of a. Sin x is called trigonometric function. So, you, top, you write to top of t. Next, which function will appear to first in this eyelid? x is appear the first. So, that function you should select u. The second, the remaining function, the second function, you should select dv. So, you write here, what is u? u is x. What is dv? The second one, sin x dx. Okay. Now, I can select u and dv. Next, the formula purpose, we want to du as well as we want to v. So, find out du. So, du means what is the differentiation of x? 1 into dx. Next, we want v. So, already we know that the differentiation operator d is a one of the differential operator. So, this goes to another side integral. So, integral of sin x dx. Already we know the formulas, basic formulas. Integral of sin x can be written as minus cos x. Now I got it u dv du v. Apply the formula. Integral of u dv can be written as u v minus integral v du. Take and substitute the formula. u is x, v is minus cos x minus integral v is minus cos x du is dx minus to minus plus so minus x cos x minus to minus plus integral cos x dx already we know that integral of cos x is sin x so it is a answer for in this question so x into sin x dx are you able to understand in this question? Okay. Next, we go to the next problem. Next problem, log x dx. See this question. Uh, first one is, already I told you know that. Uh, for you have taken right top of eyelid rule. So, I uh, log x, log x I write here. dx is algebraic function. So, it is here you have to write dx. So, what is u? u is here log x. dv is the second function. dv equal to dx. We want to du. So, 1 by x dx. We want to v is integral of dx equal to x. Apply the formula. Integral of u dv equal to u v minus integral v du. It is a 
integration by parts formula you take u is log x v is in x minus integral v du 1 by x into dx just take and substitute the values in the formula what is the simplification x into log x minus integral x x cancel integral of dx so x into log x integral of dx can be written as x plus c so x is common you take outside x equal to log x minus 1 plus c it is answered for in this question it is an integral of log x dx it is answered for in this question next we see the another problem so second problem integrate t square e power t dt in this combination also one function is simpler another one is not simpler when differentiate so uh, no it is nothing it uh, in this two combination it is possible to apply pernalis as well as uh, integration by parts uh, we can uh, use any one of the method and solve in this question this question also uh, both are uh, simple one one uh, one function these two con this combination is one is comes to simpler uh, when differentiate another one is uh, complicated uh, so one is simpler another one is complicated means uh, it is uh, we can use uh, any one of the uh, types integration by parts or bernalis here also so already we know that apply the highlight rule t squared is a algebraic uh, function so you write top of a t square e power t is a exponential function so first you have to write the integration by parts formula Al already we know that integration by parts formula the formula is integral of u dv equal to u v minus integral v du next how to select u and dv apply the highlight rule so first I, uh, which function will appear to the highlight the first that is you select u so here u is t square dv equal to the second functions you should select dv so dv equal to e power t into dt already we know that differentiation of t squared is 2t what is v integral of e power t dt so integral of e power t is answer is e power t already we know the basic formula next apply the formula integral of u dv equal to u v minus integral v du what is u u is t square what is v e power t minus integral e power t du is 2t into dt so t square e power t minus integral 2 is a constant so you take outside 2 into t into e power t dt it is u dv answer but again will appear the final step product of two different functions will appear so again we can use this integration by parts formula here so it is also product of uh, one is uh, algebraic another one is exponential again we can use this same process so how to select apply the highlight here u equal to t dv equal to e power t dt so du equal to dt v equal to integral of e power t dt so apply here d square d 
d square e power t minus 2 create the bracket so t e power t again we have used this combination so what is the formula is u v minus integral v d u substitute taken substitute the values So, what is the next step that d square e power t minus 2 into what is u v u is t v is v is the answer is e power t v is t into e power t minus integral v d u v is e power t d u is d t. So, what is the answer next step? d square e power t minus 2 into t e power t integral of e power t is e power t next step t square e power t this minus 2 is a common for inside of the bracket so multiply to inside 2 into t e power t minus 2 minus plus 2 e power t it is answer the see the final step no integral will appear so it is a final answer so answer for in this question is t squared e power t dt is d square e power t minus 2 t e power t plus 2 e power t next we see that next problem integral of e power x into sin x dx See the previous problem the combinations the product of two combinations is uh, one is simpler another one is uh, uh, complicated one is simpler another one is complicated but see this one is e power x is also not simpler sin x is also not simpler both are complicated uh, the both function not become too uh, simpler when differentiate so in this in uh, in type of the combination uh, sure uh, no way not possible to apply the Bernoulli's only it is applicable in type of the problem only, only it is applicable for the integration by parts formula so integration by parts formula already we know that the integration by parts The formula is integral of u dv equal to u v minus integral v du. Already we know that how to select u and dv applying the eyelid. But here we can't apply used to the eyelid rule uh, in this problem comes to more complicated. So for anything you have to take u and dv. So I am taking here e, u is e power x dv equal to sin x dx so next formula purpose we want to du the du is differentiation of e power x is e power x into dx we want to be so integral of sin x dx integral of sin x already we know that minus cos x so now simplify you have taken substitute in this value in the formula so the formula is u v so u is what is u e power x what is v minus cos x minus integral minus cos x du is e power x into dx so next step minus e power x cos x minus to minus plus integral e power x cos x dx it is a what is the left hand side left hand side is e power x sin x okay. see this final step again some integral will appear again in this integral part product of 
two different functions will appear. One is exponential, another one is trigonometry. Again, we can follow the same procedure. Uh, you take u dv, apply the integration by parts one more time. So, here also I have to take u equal to e power x, dv equal to cos x dx, du equal to e power x dx, v is integral of cos x dx, the answer is sin x. So, apply the formula. So, minus e power x cos x this portion plus in this portion again we have to use u dv rule. So, I have to write uv minus integral v du. This part it is v. It is v. So, you take and substitute this values for here. So, what is minus e power x cos x plus apply the formula what is u e power x e power x into sin x e power x into sin x minus integral v du integral v du. So, integral what is v? v is sin x what is du? du is e power x dx e power x dx what is the simplification minus e power x cos x plus e power x sin x minus e power x sin x dx what is the left hand side the left hand side is the left hand side will appear integral of e power x sin x dx see this question again and again the final step one of the integral part will appear it is one of the complicated question so how to solve in type of the question first condition in this combination only possible to solve integration by parts not possible to using Bernoulli's for in this in type of the question we can use integration by parts so many time but final step one of the integral part will appear so the next step how to simplify in this question the next step is you have to add e power x sin x on both side so adding integral e power x sin x on both side so what you got integral e power x sin x dx plus already already the question is integral of e power x sin x dx what is the answer answer is e power x minus e power x cos x plus e power x sin x minus e power x sin x dx plus add on both side plus integral e power x sin x dx both are cancelled so the left side can be written as the left hand side can be written as 2 integral e power x sin x dx the right side is minus e power x cos x plus e power x sin x but actual question what we want only integral of e power x sin x. So, this 2 is no need for this side. You taken the right hand side. So, this 2 goes to the right hand side. How will become e power x sin x dx 
come to the denominator this 2 comes to the denominator 1 by 2 into minus e power x cos x plus e power x sin x e power x also common for here so that's a, that e power x you take outside so e power x by 2 minus cos x plus sin x it is answer for in this question in this section we learn integration by parts how to apply the integration by parts as well as uh, what is the difference between the integration by parts the Bernoulli's uh, when you have to use where you have to use the integration by parts the Bernoulli's formula all things already studied for in this section in my next section we will learn the how to apply the Bernoulli's formula how many combination will arise the question where you have to apply the Bernoulli's what is the important of the Bernoulli's we will see the next class thank you